What up everyone, I'm Rich Mays Lopez. And I'm Brendan Dunn, news editor at Soul Collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor of Complex Sneakers. And this is Full Size Run Show with a very, very special holiday guest in the building. My man. Dion Plant of Concepts, a boutique founded in 1996. And for people out there who don't know what Concepts is, what is Concepts? Uh, so we're a apparel sneaker boutique that started back in 96, mm -hmm. uh, still in skateboards, emerging kind of streetwear with extreme sports. Everything from skateboards to snowboards, and, and then we went on and graduated to luxury brands such as Gucci, Balenciaga, Lanvin, and such. And your start was in Boston? Yes, sir. And you didn't bring a Santa hat today. I didn't bring a Santa hat. <laughs> you wore, not you wore a red sweatshirt, Yeah, though. man, I'm still He's festive. Still festive. I'm still, still festive. Close enough. Close enough. Enough. One of the things that Concepts is known for is this legendary collab here. Explain what this is. So uh, initially, when we were thinking about doing a holiday-themed shoe, I just was kind of bored trying to do red and green. It just, uh, it just wasn't right for us. So we came up with the idea of doing an ugly sweater-themed shoe. Uh, it was such a hit. I think we did 12,000 pair our first go-round. What happened? was when you Google ugly sweater, the old men that want to go to the office parties like during the holidays are finding it. And they were calling us, like we would just get hundreds of calls every year. And I'm just like, what the, f you know, we got to figure something out. So we wanted to kind of follow it up. Uh, so we kept the trademark upset snowman and we added a few more kind <laughs> mm -hmm. of bells and whistles to it. So would you say that throughout this process of creating the first one and the second one that you have become an expert in ugly sweater prints? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've seen enough to, you got a few to in pretty your closet? Much be the authority. No, I have none. Would just, you wear these on a date? I, I've never actually wore any of the ugly sweaters. Uh, but, you know, maybe this year, I'll, you know, I'll pop my cherry. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've done, since we know that you are an expert in this, right? Mm -hmm. We've put together a collection of photos depicting some iconic ugly sweaters. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, because we, you developed this print. Yes. This is your ugly sweater print. Correct, yes. I want you to give us your thoughts on these ugly sweater prints. Okay, cool. Would you rock it? We know you haven't rocked one yet, but right. would you rock it? Is this a good print? Did they pull it off? Exactly. I like you know? this. I can do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. That absolutely. <laughs> so the first one is kind of a curveball. It is the royal family, but it's actually they're wax figures. They're wax yeah, figures like this. Is not the actual oh wow! So they really family, went all out. So yeah. they're rocking kind of a combo joint, like a tag yeah, team. Yeah, two in one. Can that's we like, name a wealthy? It's kind of like, that's almost like a tandem bicycle of like sweaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, true. that's a lot of thread. That's a lot of yarn to throw around. <laughs> to put around two people. Yeah, I like this. I and like what they the did with that. you have the queen, and then you have the... We can't name all these people, right? Right. Wealthy, you're an expert in British culture, but I don't even know if you can name all these people in this photo. You got, uh... Oh, you, shit. You got, uh, you got... Uh, Queen Elizabeth, mm -hmm. okay. right? You right. Got, what's her name? Uh, she made Kate, the Duchess Kate, of Cambridge. Kate, 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 Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton. Okay. And then you got Prince Harry and Prince William. There we wow. go. Wow, an expert in British culture. No. I mean, you gotta love the way the old lady finessed the crown on her dog. Oh, I mean, with that's the tail. A detail. So that's yeah. like that's gotta be the winner. The homie with the with the penguin just all out. This L's all around there. Those, really? those snowflakes should be L's. Yeah, that's just. <laughs> Nah. Is it too not, on the nose? Is that the problem? It's not even his age demographic. He should, he's definitely <laughs> aiming way too low there. Uh, Let's roll the second one. What's the next sweater we have up here? Oh, this oh, is a hot button one. Uh, this is uh, next. Donald Trump. <laughs> this is Donald Trump uh, receiving a red sweater. Looks like there's a reindeer on yeah. there. Is we couldn't find any too? photos of that's him actually That's actually Kelly wearing. Osborne. I gotta say that's too cookie cutter. No matter who's in that photo, it's just there's nothing exciting there. Is there enough there going on? No. No, just I a know. reindeer. That's not even like a pregame sweater. That's mm. not even something you wear before you go to the actual ugly sweater party. No. That's not even the warm up sweater. Yeah, that's just pass. That's, that's a huge out. Pass on this one. What do you got next? Oh, here Ooh. we go. This is your vision. Boston man. native, man. <laughs> Gotta give him a ten right there. This is his up all around. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like he's all business underneath and all party over on the exterior. I Are mean, you allowed to say anything criti critical about Matt Damon? I could beat his ass, but I've seen the Jason Bourne movie, <laughs> so it, I, I know right he has some camera. techniques. <laughs> Come get me. Uh, but you know, I, I just think that it's, you know, we had to stick together, so. I think that's like a busy, creative sweater. It doesn't look like it's something you could just pick up at Christmas tree shop. Like you had to put some thought into that. You or send your assistant. This is handmade? Absolutely. Yeah. I think out of one piece of yarn, too. I know mm. it's multicolored. I, I know you're probably guessing how, but... Like, you think if, like, Virgil was wearing this sweater, it'd be hype? <laughs> I mean, Virgil can do no wrong. I think he could wear that as, as a bubble coat, as mm -hmm. a vest, maybe a tank top, and he'd probably still win. That's wearing. it. It's yeah. a wrap. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. This is a good one. That's the not finished. with the hat. 
Yeah, this you gotta so, go back and get the rest of it. Obviously, this is Pharrell Williams. Would yep. you consider Pharrell a style icon? Absolutely. 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 I mean, Pharrell looks young, so it's fitting that he, it actually fits young on him. It's so true. it's like a kind of double on top. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. He's got a I, Benjamin I Button kind of sweater yeah. going. Yeah. Maybe through the course of the night, it re <laughs> regenerates <laughs> and it's a faux sweater. So, so far, the only sweater that you're really feeling is the wax figure. That's true. Now we Who's got this guy? That's Steve Urkel. Urkel. Yeah, that's oh, Jaleel God. White. Jaleel Is that White him with, on the sweater, Drake? Drake theme. That's Drake. Buddy, I'm just gonna be honest. To put another man on your sweater, it's, it's not a good look. Nah, go can, and then I can tell his man's looking at him sideways, literally. So I mean, it's, just, wear, it's just like there's so much wrong going on. The chick in the back that came with him. Now the she's talking too, to the other guy. Like yeah. Him, right? Would this, you wear a sweater with Tom Brady on it? Absolutely. That's but man, that's, that's a religious man, choice, man. though. Oh. This is this is this is Hollywood. That's a whole different thing. So I want to ask you, though, in your opinion, besides this one, what do you have to have for the quintessential ugly sweater? Well, the the thought process behind this was this could kind of be it. Not saying you could streak or go full nudity, but I think like this is enough to carry you. So you could so go full nudity. black on, like yeah. the way you guys are now, you're good to go. You throw those on. If you want to get a little festive, there's some lace options there, but I'll leave it at this that. This is it. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be tough to pair up. Dion, thank you. Man, thank for you very much. Thank you, for coming. Appreciate it. thank you for coming on. Thank you for blessing us with this ugly sweater knowledge. Super I, feel like, I feel enlightened. Super yeah. Do you feel enlightened? Um, I'm definitely going to be keeping this in mind when putting together a, my holiday party fit. There yeah. will be a complex holiday party. Yeah. Uh, was there a full size one holiday party? Or? This is uh, it. Okay. We got to know, before out. we go though, what's, what's more hype right now? These sneakers or his Supreme Santa hat? <laughs> I mean, that could go for more. No, that definitely could go for more. <laughs> We're putting it out. <laughs> for sure. I'm Rich Mays Lopez. I'm Brendan Dunn, news editor, soul collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor of Complex Sneakers. That Dion. was Dion Point. Till next time, y'all. Peace. Happy holidays. Listen, this is important. I need you to subscribe. They're going to make me keep wearing these fake Skechers Yeezys until we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please, subscribe to Soul Collector on YouTube. Now.